Okay, this is gonna be a tough start. We got ourselves a Grandmaster now. Genova. Sasha Martinovich. I played him before, no? I'm not supposed to play people I've played before. Okay, knight f6 is a good reply to one. d4, e6, e4, take it. Knight f3, huh? Okay, g5. It's one of those positions where I think Sing an early g5 can actually be justified. Now I go d6. And uh, let's grab some space. h5. Next, I would probably want to go knight c6, e5. Not to worry about knight b5. Now e5, if d5, knight e7. Bishop b5, probably just gonna go king d8. Also, after knight d5, b5, I'm going king d8. Uh, right or wrong, I'm not so worried about losing the right to castle. Because I still have plenty of other rights. Okay. Castles. That is one brave decision does not care about the pawn. Well, I do, so I'm gonna take it. And I'll take another one. Once again, don't try this at home. The usual disclaimer. Ah, he had knight d5. <laughs> that was a bit of an embarrassing miss on, on my part. I think after knight d5, I would have been in, been in some trouble. But now I'm more happy. Bishop h6 comes with tempo. I feel like I should be doing fine. Probably objectively speaking not too great, but in a practical game all looks pretty pretty nice. Bishop b5, I got king d7, trapping the knight. And if rook c1, I can first oh, I'll take it and then rook c8 later on. Uh, the knight is still not escaping. All looks quite promising at the moment. He has queen a4 then though. Might not be too clear. Okay. Take the knight, no reason not to. Queen c5 is an issue. Maybe there is reason not to. Queen e5? Can I do that? Rook d5? Is that dangerous? I take it. No, I don't think that's dangerous. It always worries me a bit, though, to play such moves. Oh, wait a second, I have queen c5, I just have bishop f4 now. Yeah, should be good. Yeah. That's all good. Just not to go queen c5, queen e5. Because he takes it, and it's a double pin, so I lose everything. At least my queen. Yeah, rook d5, king e7 looks nice. He could take on h5, but then I go rook c8, and I think I'll soon be taking over. Should be noted that also with my pawns in h5 and g4, his king isn't quite as safe as, as it may look. Yeah, but this doesn't work. I just take on d5. E d5, rook d8, and he has no threats. King f8 coming next, and I'm a bishop up. And the game will be over pretty soon. Take b2. Um, yeah, exchange rooks, why not? Take it, king is escaping easily. And no worries in the world. And he resigned. Well, I have to say that was a that was a fun game. 
Absolutely a fun game.